cleaned the needle valve and that didn't seem to help. I still want to get in a third of a cup of coffee. So now we're going to check something else. So I'll just read started here and uh, hit brew here. It's only going to give you a third of a cup of coffee. But take this lid off and you're going to see it's going to backflow. So it's putting coffee in there, but it's also backflowing back in your reservoir. So that check valve is not working. You shouldn't be getting any water coming back into your reservoir. So we're going to see both. So the water's coming back in the reservoir, it shouldn't be, and there's water flowing in the cup. And it's going to stop. You're going to get a third of a cup. That's laboring. So we're going to have to take this apart and clean that check valve inside there. It's still coming back. It's flowing more back than it is coming into the cup. So step two is to reserve, remove the reservoir. Unplug it, unplug it, remove the reservoir, and then take this cap off here, and then see where that one-way check valve is not working. It's still laboring here, still trying to make your coffee, but it's flowing all back into your reservoir. Here it goes. It should stop now. I don't see it's not, work, not ready. There you go. I'm going to remove these screws that hold these hoses from the K cup. There's two screws. There's one right here. Can you see it? Yeah. And one right here. And there. A torque screw. And guess what? We're at the camp and we have that Matex, Matex screwdriver set. It's got all the bits I'm looking for, and we're looking for the T15, and there's the T15. And we're going to take these off, and it's magnetic. I did review of that, and we're going to take it off here. And hopefully we don't lose the screw. long screw well there's a washer on it too so there's a washer on that screw and just enough room to get in here so the washer on it I'm paying attention We got those few screws out that's holding that lever, and there's a washer on them. <clears throat> They're in the magnetic container here, so I don't lose them. Now I'm gonna have to take these screws from the bottom here, right up inside there. Two screws here. So there's two Phillips screws, it's a Phillips number two bit. These are small screws. You don't want to lose these things, for God's sake. <clears throat> Hold the magnet that holds it. That's just about out. There's the screw. The eight almost lost it. Yeah. There's the screw, and I put it in the magnetic thing here. So that's the two screws are up in here. Two screws hold this. 
more screws holding than this. Now loosen the cover here to the and this comes off. And there's your pump. This will come off. Now the nuts off. And there's your pump. There's a the problem right here. We're gonna take this apart and see if we can fix this. Because the water is not going through here, it's back flowing through here. So we're gonna have to cut these clips off. There's some small screws that hold this one on. This will slide back, I imagine. So these two has got to come off. So just remember where they are. These two little clips here, they got to come off here. And then uh, you're going to blow air through here and take this apart too. These are small little screws. I don't know if I got small enough ones for that. So to take this one apart, you need a Phillips number one. It's a very small screw in here. There's a wire here too, be careful of the wire. I already took one side off, the other side. This is not magnetic. Can I one clip off here? I just snap it here with my pliers here. That's got to go back on here. Find another clip in here. Goes off. Now this should come apart from here now and slide back here. So what you got to do is pull this off here. I got to start it. Let's pull this off. Hard to do with one hand. Pull this out of this piece that we took off here. Probably you could even have to take these screws out. Pull this piece off here. I'll do it with two hands here. So I have to cut that other tie wrap off here. Put that off here. Get off. And I pull this out of here. I'm just going to pull this. I have to put the phone down. Can't do it with one hand. Possible. So I just pull this off. Now once you get your clip off, then you can just pull this old assembly out here. It's all right. Let's push this leaf right there. It's out. There's your valve, there's your check valve. Now remember which way it goes. It goes in this way and this way. So we'll check this out and see what the problem is. So the flow goes this way through this way. The check valve is in here. So if I, you'll hear it because I can't hear me blowing through it. Now if you switch it around, you can't blow that away. Your blowing gets a check valve. There's some stuff that came out of there, some little bit of water. But it seems to be flowing better now. I'm going to soak it in uh, vinegar and just wash it out a bit. And then we'll see, put it all back together. Okay, let's get this back together. I soaked it in vinegar. Check that the one way valve is working. Yeah, we put it back together now. So put it back in here. Slide it back in here. All the way. Now get in there, baby. And then put it in here. these bolts up again and we have to put the tie wraps on it these are small tie wraps here there's the one goes around here the right way yep yeah. you seen this Make 
sure it's all the way in here. In there. Get the excess off here. Another one around the same way. Tight here. Really excess off. That baby's done. Put it back in here. I gotta watch these wires here. Not quite all the way back here. These are small, small screws here. See the size of them? And there's number one Phillips. It goes in here. It's not magnetic, so. Okay. I have a feeling I'm going to drop these screws. A little bit magnetic. I think it was magnetized from the Magnetic holder I had. Got one side in there, and make sure these wires are not touching anything. So I don't think the end of the bit is magnetic. I think the screw is magnetic, magnetized in that holder I had there. Small screws, don't over tighten them, just put them snug. It's all plastic here. Snug, snug. Wires out of the way. The two clamps are back on here. Now, we're going to put the cover back on and we got to put this. Louver back on. It goes in like this. Yeah, like this. That camera goes back on. Okay. Let me figure this out. Yeah, the camera's shaking a bit. Now I put the the lever back on, and it goes in this hole here. It's not magnetized, so there it goes. That's the torque 15 I'm using. Putting the handle back on here. I'm not tightening it over, tightening it, just tightening enough. I gotta already get the other side in. And put this over top here. So theoretically, you didn't have to take that lever off. Theoretically.
Now the hardest part is to get those two small those screws back in here. Those two Phillips screw number two Phillips screwdriver. And got both of them back in there. Had to play with it for a while. So they're all back in there. I'm gonna put it all back together, start it up and see what happens. Now we got a reservoir back in. We're gonna leave it open to see if that drips back or not. We clean the uh, the check valve there and take it all apart and see if we're gonna get a full cup of coffee now. Reservoir is going down here. And it's flowing better, it looks like it's flowing better. And it looks like we're going to get a full cup this time. Since we're back in the business. I thank all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. Watch this first first time today. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for taking the time to listen to my video today. Have a great day, people.